Tuesday today on New. Hello and welcome to the show, Your Real Estate Today. It's Paul Jamison, your regular host today. And you know something? Each and every time I probably say the same thing, but you know what? I'm going to say the same thing, but I'm going to say it in a different tone today. <laughs> we have so much stuff to talk about in this hour. You know, I hope you have a drink and that you have gone to the restroom before we get started because you're not going to want to get up from your chair at all. So I'm looking forward to today and the topic to today. And remember, if you miss the show, there's a couple of different ways to get that piece that you missed when the woman from the Starbucks drive-thru was talking to you. And that is you can jump on to the WBT website, go to the shows tab under your real estate today, and you can pull up this date and this podcast. Also, you can go to our YouTube channel. You can go there and you can watch us point, laugh, make gestures, and you can see right now, I have a microphone in my face and you can't even see me because if I move my microphone to the other side of my face, it's in Sandy's face. And I know y'all would rather look at Sandy than look at me. And Tyler, who is first time on here, he got a haircut to be able to be on here. He's looking really good right now. He's got his hair, you know, slicked back real nice. And he's got that uh, beard, you know, that outdoors. You're like, where's my ax? I got to chop some wood kind of beard. He's ready to go. He's all set to go looking handsome and all. And I am here with half my own teeth, one leg shorter than the other. And I'm ready to talk. So we're going to talk real estate. The show your real estate today is about your home, about the market, about what's happening and about what's going on. And man, oh man, is it a full day. So here we go. Hi, Tyler, by the way, welcome. Good afternoon, sir. Good to see you. Sandy, hey, hey. Hey, good to be here. <laughs> always. Sandy Dickinson, Cross Country Mortgage. <laughs> She's here always. That's pretty much right. <laughs> All right. So what did I learn this week? Man, boy, you're going to hear uh, a, a donut coming from me that I wrote this morning. A donut means that somebody has a beginning and an end and I talk in the middle, you know? So there's another expression about a donut. Have you heard that TJ? When you call somebody a donut? No. You know what that is? No. Okay. So in radio, a donut means I talk for like 45 seconds and Mark Garrison says something in the beginning and the end. So I'm the filler in the middle of the donut. But when you call somebody a donut, you're saying, that they're light and fluffy, they have no food value, and they pretty much got a hole in the middle of their noggin where their brain is supposed to go. So just so you know, if somebody calls you a donut, they're not talking to you in sweet terms. So there you go. Is that something in your vocabulary we can now add, TJ? Yeah, I'll okay. add that. Okay, all right. So here is the beginning of the donut that you guys are going to start hearing with Mark Garrison. The sky is falling. Democrats and Republicans are holding hands. McDonald's now has a round fish sandwich. And the real estate market is crashing and prices are falling. You got to listen to the donut to hear the rest. But I laughed this morning because in all of my years, because I can't eat seafood, I can't eat fish, I can't anything eat anything that swims underwater. I'm allergic. When I was a kid, there was nothing better than a McDonald's fish sandwich. But I always wondered why the fish was square. Well, <laughs> doesn't relate to real estate, but if anybody has the answer, I'd love to know. All right. So what did I learn this week? I met with my team and we were talking about next year. And what really makes the most sense for 2023 and based on what we talked about, hopefully you can make some sense out of it because I have a tremendous level of excitement about next year. I want to bring wealth 
with real estate in the lives of our clients. I want people to understand the data. What does that mean? Translation, it means I want them to understand what is really going on and not the lie. I want the truth. And I know my message sometimes doesn't make any sense to what you hear out there, or it may be very difficult for me to articulate. But I will not do just what others do just because they're doing it. And I'm not going to do it to scream louder. You know, um, I think it's a great time to buy next year. And here's what uh, they are telling me in all the national meetings that I attend. There's gold in them, their hills, Booge. There is gold in them, their hills. I agree. There's opportunity next year to make a lot of money in real estate. There's opportunity next year, if you even listen to guys like Dave Ramsey, to buy a home next year. And then when the rates drop, to go ahead and refinance. And Sandy and I have had exhaustive conversations, her team, my team, about ways to make that happen. And we're going to talk some about that today. But if you think about the pent, dem pent up demand that's out there right now, statistics show and data show there's 1.8 months of inventory out there that demand is just going to continue to build and everything that we're facing right now it isn't our interest rate problem it's an affordability problem and that affordability problem is a short-term problem that is going to change so i'm excited about next year i do not believe that the sky is falling. And I actually don't think Democrats and Republicans, especially in our government are holding hands right now. <laughs> I'm trying to make a point. And that is, is that the message that you're hearing is not the same thing we're seeing. So I wanna talk more about that and we will later on in the show. You know, Sandy, uh, there is a lot of misconception around mortgage rates and around mortgage right now. Yes, is that a is. part of your mortgage update or you got yes, something else? Yes, it is. Nope, that's what I have. All right, what do you have? What I have is that in spite of probably the highest rates we've seen last month, that sales were up 5.8%. And Oh, don't say that. That's That, that, that can't be. <laughs> The 11 point. Wait a minute. Percent There's a round fish sandwich at McDonald's. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Prices have dropped a little bit, maybe 5%. So houses are on sale right now. And even though the rates are high, guess what? Based on what you said and what I've heard next year, um, rates are going to come down and they're probably going to come down to five. And guess what happens when that happens? The market will shoot through the roof and prices will go That's up. That's right. We will we'll have crazy. another 2021 again, like we had before, we but even worse, Tyler will actually grow gray hair. <laughs> it's already started. Cause I know what you're saying is true. <laughs> so if you want a good deal buy now, right? It's a black Friday sale. <laughs> it really is. All right. So, Sandy, you made a comment that that things are off about five percent. They're off between about two and a half and six percent. So you're really right in the money on okay. that. You're correct. But here's where I get um, tied around the fact that just the misconception of everything. It's so funny. I'm looking through a microphone right now. It is the weirdest thing. It's a good look. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Dang, booze! That Very was that was that was harsh. <laughs> I got a, an appendage called a microphone coming out of my face. But the thing about it is, is that um, if you look at pre-COVID, if you look at 2017, 2018, 2019, what were houses selling for off the off the list price? That. 5% yes. off a list price. Average list was 97 and a half, 95 to 97 and a half off of price. Oh my. Does the word normal come to mind? 
Well, we're going to give you some more normal or abnormal, however you want to choose it, based on the topic of this show today. We got Tyler Bruce with Norwood Armstrong and Stokes. We're going to talk about that question that people need to be asking. And each of us are going to answer that before we launch into deed restrictions. Woot, woot. Here we come. Stay with us to show your real estate today on News Talk 1110 99.3 WBT.